Tonight, Action News Jax investigates a photography studio that is used by our area's two largest school districts for class photos. A local mother says her experience wasn't what she pictured, so we sent Action News Jax Ben Becker and he got results. These are some pictures of your family, but yes. not the pictures we're talking about. No. Natalia Plyom was talking about these senior portraits of her daughter, but says the experience was anything but picture perfect. How upsetting is this? It's very upsetting. Plyom used a company called Katie Studios that has a contract with both the St. Johns County and Duval County school districts, among other school districts across Florida, Georgia, and Texas. You can see Plyom paid $299 for a photo sitting, but when her daughter picked up the pictures, Plyom says there was a problem. She goes there, she calls me. Mom, they can't give me a stick, uh, you know, the memory stick. I'm like, well, what do you mean they can't? Well, it's $1,900. I'm like, what do you mean? Plyum says she spoke to a manager at Katie on the phone and claimed to only approve spending $500. Plyum thought the issue was resolved until she saw her credit card statement. There were two more charges, as you can see, one for $1,316.34 and another for $658.17 for a total of nearly $2,000. When you saw this bill, you thought what? I thought, what scoundrels? Plyum filed this complaint with the Better Business Bureau saying they charged my 17-year-old $1,995 for a memory stick. These people have no shame. According to the Better Business Bureau, there have been 64 complaints closed against Katie in the last three years, although it does maintain an A- rating. I emailed Katie about Plyom's situation, and they sent a response to the St. Johns County School District that was forwarded to me. It said Plyom had approved buying the nearly $2,000 package ahead of time, reading in part. When you select the session for your student during the online selection process, you are able to hover over the price range listed for the package you ordered to determine a price range for the session you chose. Katie goes on to say, during the presentation, there were a few options presented, and the final one resulted in your choice of all photos where you provided your approval of the payment. But Plyum denies this, saying her credit card on file was used without her authorization. Katie acknowledges Plyum's daughter came to purchase the photos without her parents and decided she wanted all images and chose the USB with all images. That is significant to Action News Jack's law and safety expert, Dale Carson. Juveniles have a unique advantage in Florida, and they're able to do this to void a contract, which with an adult, that's not possible. Carson says, generally speaking, you must be 18 years old to enter into a contract, and in this case, a credit card purchase is a contract. In this situation, the company needs to be more responsible. They need to have an actual physical contract, not something that's done over the Internet where you just touch a button. In that same email I mentioned before, Katie eventually relented on some of the charges, saying... We have gone ahead and refunded the 75% of the order as a goodwill gesture based upon the situation. As for Plyum, soon after I got involved, she received this check for $1,316.34 and texted me, you are my hero. Thank you so much. My pleasure. By the way, often you can dispute a charge with the credit card company, but in this case, Plyum received the pictures, so the request was denied. One other thing, remember that $299 photo sitting fee I mentioned? I discovered Katie Photography has some separate legal issues related to sitting fees. It's currently in Duval County Court fighting the Florida Department of Revenue over a $233,000 tax bill. Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.